every day. Topi Smopey, <laughs> Topi Smopey, <laughs> Topi Smopey Eye from Festive Ad Advent, <laughs> from Festive Advent Calendars. <laughs> welcome back so I have got a PR haul and show-and-tell type video for y'all today so a lot of times I do like a combo haul where I show things that I purchased myself as well as PR stuff but this is going to be all PR goodies just because I have quite a few things here to show you and also most everything that I've purchased myself I've been showing in like what's new at the drugstore type haul videos so most everything is in that but then also I might accumulate the other things and do like a regular haul haul at some point but this isn't a regular haul haul this is all PR stuff so if PR isn't your thing I totally understand just an FYI this was all sent to me but as always I 100% give my honest opinions whether it was purchased by me or whether it was sent to me so yeah let's get to the haul and show and tell first off I received the elf Vox box from influencer so I have tried out the goodies inside here I actually already talked about this in a Friday favorites because I'll love it so much this is the elf matte lip color in wine and I feel like it is like so much better than old ones that I've tried from them so I don't know if they've updated the formula or what happened but it is really really good so love 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 this so that's a definite win this also included the lip exfoliator and this is in mint maniac which I tried the regular one and really really like their exfoliator um, so I tried the mint one and I like it too it wasn't super minty like at all um, I didn't notice like a huge difference between this one and the regular one so I like them they're like a regular lipstick looking thing but then it's an exfoliator so it makes it really easy to use and works effectively doesn't make your lips hurt i think it's great this also has the baked highlighter and bronzer in bronzed glow so i have not well i have a little bit of this on my face i just applied a little bit with my finger just a little bit ago um i like this but i'm not like blown away by it and also i'm kind of weird about like Things being in the same pan but not having a divider seems like they need their own home so I wish they had their own home but I do really like this side but I would just say I would rather just purchase the individual highlighters by themselves versus like a duo type of a thing so there is that and then the last two items this is the elf mineral infused face primer i did use this and tried it out and i liked it i wouldn't say it was like amazing i didn't notice like a huge difference in how my foundation went on or wore throughout the day but i do think it helped a little bit so i would say nice primer um especially for i'm losing my voice especially for the price um but not the best primer i've ever used and then this is the elf hydrating bubble mask which I tried this out. Bubble masks are so, like, I don't even know the word. Weird for me. Like, I like them and I enjoy them, but it's like sensory overload or something. I feel like I like want to scratch my face. Let me know if you're like that with bubble masks. So this one, I mean, it works like a bubble mask. I mean, it felt hydrating. It was a very thick gel so it seemed like a little bit went a long way which I was not expecting that's a good thing um, but yeah it's just a bubbly mask and I think it's supposed to give you like hydration this hydrating and nourishing gel transforms into a bubble mask on the face watch as bubbles fizz and foam to remove excess dirt and cleanse pores for glowing healthy looking skin so it was you know if you like bubble masks I think you'll like this one I like them, but they kind of weird me out a little bit. It gets a little bit of weird feeling. <laughs> Pixie is so sweet and generous. They've actually sent me two different boxes and then I placed an order myself. So let me run through this quickly. Now, a few of these things I've already mentioned in Friday Favorites because I love them. Their holiday collection. This is Rosy Radiance, this palette. I love this. I love these face products. This is perfect for traveling. Really, really nice quality. Let me show you a quick swatch of the face products because those are the standout to me and I just think they are beautiful. Such nice quality. Super buttery, super pigmented. Just amazing. I mean, that highlighter, what? I love that. That is beautiful. 
This is their little um, stack. These are the Fairy Dust Favorites, and this is in Metallic Warmth. Love this too. I mainly like played around with um, I've mainly, mainly, did I say I'm? And now I'm losing my voice. I think I regained it. I've mainly played with the top three. I don't know what I said. I think I said I'm, but I was trying to say I've mainly played with the top three, um, but these are beautiful too. They're just really nice pigments, very metallic. Um, the thing I purchased myself, this is the, the Book of Beauty Glow Getters. <laughs> having trouble talking today. Glow Getters. So this is just a beautiful highlighter palette. Honestly, I was hoping it would be like just as amazing as the highlighter in the Rosy um, Radiance palette. And I would say they're not. Like these are more kind of like subtle and less super duper glowy, more um, almost like the uh, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders where they're they give you like a subtle glow, but they're not like super duper metallic-y highlighters. Ooh, I'm, I'm like overlapping here. So the last one is, I mean, this top one is getting towards, you know, the Rosy Radiance palette, but it's just, it's not as nice as the Rosy Radiance, in my opinion, the highlighter. The highlighter in this one is more amazing than this, is what I'm trying to say. So it's a cute palette. It's actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting it to be. Um, but it would be nice for traveling because you have a lot of different highlighters in there. But I still like the highlighter in the Rosy Radiance a little bit better. Some lipsticks and an eyeliner. So I purchased this myself and then these were sent to me. So I've got some swatches to show you. So right here, this is the... What is this called? Matte Luster Lipstick in Classic Red. I did already talk about this in a favorites because I love it. It is just the most beautiful, low maintenance, comfortable red lipstick. I think it is so, so nice. So I love that. That is amazing. And then this is the Endless Silky Eye Pen in Opal Overcoat. So it's kind of like a light, I don't know, opaly, creamy sort of a color. So that's really pretty. And then lastly, that is the Shea Butter Lip Balm, and this is in what color? Sweet Peach. Really cute peachy color there. And then they also sent me some skincare goodies, which I'm really excited about because I've never tried any skincare from Pixi, but I've heard really good things about it. So first, this is the Glotion Day Dew with Lavender Oil and Mica. So there is that. So I did put this on my hand. And it's supposed to give like a glow. It says lightweight moisturizer nourishes, protects, and gives a youthful glow. So you can definitely see it kind of on that side of my hand. It does have a nice kind of a, a, a like a subtle glow to it. It's really pretty. This is the Beauty Sleep Cream with mango butter and chamomile. So this is supposed to be like an overnight. It says night recovery cream with 100% natural mango butter to protect and nourish skin while you sleep. Rich in vitamins A, C, and E to effectively combat free radicals, fast absorbing, nutrient rich, gentle and soothing for all skin types. So that sounds very nice. There's an eye product. This is the 24K Eye Elixir with gold and collagen. So cool, I will try that out. And I've heard several people talk about this. Um, good and bad reviews I've heard about this. The Glow Mist with propolis and argan oil. So it says nourishing mist. So I don't know, I'm not big on nourishing mists because I'm more kind of normal combo oily, but I'm gonna give this a try because I wanna be able to give you guys thoughts, obviously, um, and just kind of like opinions on how it worked for my particular skin type. So I'm gonna try this out, I'm excited about it. Royal Norman was super sweet and generous and sent me some goodies from their winter collection. So the best place to see really good swatches of these products would be my Instagram. But I'm gonna run through quickly and kind of point out my favorites from the collection. So first one, this one is not a favorite for me. This is the Eye Color Couture in Cozy Nudes. This is more on the kind of subtle side. It is pretty, but the shadows aren't like wabam pigmented. They're more on the subtle side. But this one I really like. This is the Eye Color Couture in Modern Exposure. This one is really pretty. It's kind of more like um, purpley, mauvey sort of colors. It's really, really beautiful. Again, I have really good swatches on my Instagram where you can see them up close. Another standout for me from this collection is the blush. This is in Bombshell. 
the Lasting Cheek Color in Bombshell. Love the packaging on their blushes. They're, it's so nice and like weighty feeling. This is a beautiful kind of like um, mauve pinky sort of a color. Really, really pretty. You know what? I'm gonna swatch these all really quickly for you. Okay, so I've got everything swatched here for you. So starting with Cozy Nudes, there is that one. Looking at it there, it really swatched a lot better. So it might be one of those things that you kind of have to get into the product a little bit to really get better pigmentation. So I'm gonna try that one again because that looks really pretty. That one is Modern Exposure. That's the one that I really, really love. Under that, that is the blush in Bombshell. It's like a beautiful, just satiny, pinky mauve. It's beautiful. This right here is a duo. This is the Contour and Highlight Duo in, it just says Highlight and Sculpt. So you get a highlighter and you get a sculptor. So there is that really, really pretty. I do like this. I've used this several times. I don't really reach for the highlighter, but I really do like the contouring side. That's very nice. Then under that is the Kiss and Hug Lip Gloss, and this is in Mulberry. So it's kind of like a darker reddish sort of a color, and it's kind of a um, thicker sort of a gloss. So it seems like it's going to stick around on the lips longer. I did wear it several times, and I usually end up like eating or drinking or something. So sometimes it's hard for me to tell about longevity on a lip color, but for a gloss, it seemed like it stuck around for a pretty good amount of time, but it does have a little bit of tackiness to it, but not to an uncomfortable level. So I do like that. Um, you have to like, you know, darker lip colors to like that one. And then this right here, this is the Soft Touch Eye Pencil, and this is in the color, what color? Purple Gem. So it is just a beautiful dark purple, and it's got some little micro shimmer in it, like pink micro shimmer. It's really, really pretty. I like their eye pencils a lot. Like I think they're really underrated. I think Merle Norman in general is underrated, um, but their pencils just really stick around on the eyes and they're really creamy and just glide on the eyes. So definite standouts from the collection would be the Modern Exposure for me and then also the blush and probably this eye pencil just because it's really pretty and I feel like it's unique. I love the little micro shimmer in it. Milk Makeup sent me a really cute little box. It's very kind of iridescent-y, holographic looking. So that's super duper cute. And inside it has the holographic stick and this is in Supernova. So it's a cream highlighter type of a product. Now I don't reach for cream products a ton. If I do, I use them for layering. So that's how I will use this. Um, to layer it with other things, but it has a really cool look to it. Like if you like those kind of like unicorny type highlighters, you know, it's like a lot of different colors happening in one, I think you'll like this. And you have to like cream products, of course, to enjoy a product like this. Um, but it's got like white, pink, purple, blue, just a lot happening there. Really, really pretty. So I'm gonna use it for layering. Um, it does seem to blend really nicely into the skin. I like that it has that kind of like purpley sort of look to it because I've been wanting to like try more pinky purpley highlighters. So this will be good for layering and um, getting that sort of a pinky purple look. I could not believe when Makeup Forever contacted me and wanted to send me something. I love Makeup Forever so that just totally made my day. So they sent me a couple of goodies here. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and this is in Y225, which this foundation I've used before. I do have a review up on my channel. I like this more in the winter time and fall for me because I'm more combo oily, more towards the normal side in like fall, winter, so it works better for me this time of year. Um, spring, summer, I get a little bit too oily with this, but if you are, I would say anywhere from combo to dry skin, I think you would really like this foundation. It has nice coverage. Check out my review to learn more about like how it looks on the skin. I think I had a different color though. This matches me a lot better than the other, other color that I have that I used in that review video, but basically, it's a nice foundation, I would say, for everybody except for super oily skin. And then they also sent me the hydrating primer, which I didn't know how this would work for me because I'm more on the combo oily slash normal this time of year side. 
um, but it worked nicely. It felt really good on this skin. I do feel like it helped my foundation stay on longer. Um, probably wouldn't be the one that I would reach for all the time because I don't necessarily need extra hydration, but I do love their primers. Like I've used multiple ones from them and I really, really like them. They're very nice quality. Pacifica sent me some nail polishes. This is the Seven Free Nail Color Trio. I've tried their nail polishes before. I really do like them. I think that they go on nicely. They wear nicely. It's great that they're seven free. Let me see the three different colors this comes with. It comes with Wonderland, a really pretty kind of white sort of a color. This one is London Tomboy, a cute kind of like, I don't know, peacocky green. And then this one looks amazing. This is Lux Interior and it's like a black with silver micro shimmer in it. What? That is beautiful. So I have like acrylics right now, so I couldn't try them, but I've tried them in the past and I really do like them. And I love that they are seven free. So they're, you know, a healthier sort of a nail color to wear. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Derma E, so I was really excited to get a package from them. These are supposed to be, I think some of their favorites, fan favorites, it says, Hey beautiful, here are our Derma E favorites available at Ulta. So I guess these are supposed to be ones that, you know, people really, really love. So this is the Firming DMAE Eye Lift. It says with Insta Lift and Advanced Peptides, visibly lifts, firms, and tightens, helps smooth away crow's feet. So that's good. Cruelty-free, gluten-free, wind energy, GMO-free, recyclable. So it says your purchase supports global communities and the environment. So sounds like a really good brand. Um, this is just kind of like a squeezy tube eye product. So I will definitely try that out. So the eye lift cream, what's it called? Firming DMAE eye lift. And then this is the Derma E hydrating night cream. It says hyaluronic acid. This extra rich, intensely hydrating night cream replenishes anti-aging moisture to skin while you sleep. Vegan based hyaluronic acid replumps the skin, reducing the appearance of dryness, fine lines, and wrinkles. Also includes antioxidant rich green tea and enriching, vit enriching vitamin A, C, and E to help soften and smooth the look of dehydrated skin. I love night creams because at night is really when I like, I layer on the skincare. I look like an oil slick when I go to bed because that's when I want to give my skin super duper hydration because during the day I'm looking for something light. So, but this does feel very light. It's like very kind of like creamy like milky almost and it's it doesn't feel super um heavy or super duper thick but it also feels really hydrating very nice so i am so excited to try that out don't know why i'm showing you it's not like you can see anything it's just a moisturizer but yeah I'm gonna try that out and I will definitely keep you posted on my thoughts in the future. Prestige sent me some goodies and these are all like super duper colorful and creative, which I think is kind of like the idea behind the box that they sent is just to kind of like do a super colorful look with it. So first it had in here the Magic Pen Lip and Eye Waterproof. So this is one of those clear um, sort of products that helps to prevent bleeding. You're not gonna be able to see it because it's completely clear. Whatever's there is just left over from me rubbing off the swatch earlier, but it's a clear sort of a product. I did use this with this and I do think it helps with the bleeding. Um, this, I've mentioned this on my channel before, or this type of a product, not in this color, but I do really like these. These are the Total Intensity Total Matte Lip Crayons and this is in Anarchy. So I did use that clear lip pencil with this and I do think it helps with the bleeding but um, I don't think this bleeds a ton anyway, but also I kind of have to get used to like how to apply a clear sort of a lip crayon or lip liner because I'm used to lining my lips and actually like following my lips versus going outside of it. So I'm just kind of not used to using a product like this, but I do know that they're supposed to be really nice um, so that you don't necessarily need a colored lip liner. It's kind of universal you can use it with anything. So I need to try that out more and kind of like form more thoughts on it. And then this is the eyeliner, just eyeliner. And this is in magnetic. I have not really played around with this. Oh, okay. At first I was like, uh, but once I got into it a little bit, it has more pigmentation. So it's just a purpley eyeliner. 
that's pretty. Isn't that like, see, like super colorful, super creative. And then I did use this. I used um, this orangey shade one day in an eye look. This is the Totally Matte Eyeshadow Trio, and this is an off beat. And this, I like, like I really liked the orangey color. And they're really pigmented, very nice and matte. Um, I would say of the three, the only one that has a little bit of issue is the purple, but that orange, love. Love the orange. Really like the red color too, and that's a hard one to find, especially in the drugstore. So yeah, there are some goodies from Prestige. I like Prestige. I think they're a really nice drugstore brand that has some great products. Um, I like especially their lip products, like these kind of things, and then also their eyeshadows I think are really nice. I got this set through Octoly. This is the Mally Shadow Stick Extra 5-Piece Collection, which I have heard great things about the Mally Shadow Sticks, and I don't think I've ever tried them. If I have, it's been so long that I don't remember, but I really don't think I've ever tried them, and I'm excited about these because they are so nice, super pigmented, they just like really glide on. They're beautiful. So we've got, let's see, from here to here, we've got Moonlight, Bliss, Timeless Taupe, Brownstone, and Mahogany. This set is so pretty. These are all colors that I would wear a ton because they're like taupey sort of shades, which are so versatile because you could use these by themselves. They would make a beautiful everyday Topi smoky, topi smoky, topi smoky eye. No, topi smoky eye. But also you could use them as a base under other things. Really, really pretty. The packaging is really beautiful on them. It's like a silvery sort of a look. Really nice. So I think these would make a really nice gift, but also just you know a fun eyeshadow stick collection for yourself too. And lastly, the cutest little package from the Body Shop. I mean, look at this guy. He just makes me smile. This is Reggie Jr. and he's funny and adorable. Love him. So basically what this package was saying is that in celebration of Body Shop's 40th anniversary and dedication to campaigning against animal testing, we are offering more than 120 gift sets that give back by helping to restore the rainforest and protect endangered animals with every purchase. From festive advent, from festive advent calendars, <laughs> advent calendars, you guys, y'all are so sweet and patient with me. Advent calendars to classic bath and body sets. Each gift set will help you and those on your holiday list do good, feel good, and look good. So a great little spot for gift sets. So I guess this is one of them that they have available. This box is adorable. Like it's very nice and weighty feeling. And inside it has a really nice set of their um, strawberry bath products. This is beautiful, beautiful presentation. And this smells amazing. It has the shower gel, body polish, body butter, which I love their body butters, and a soap and then a little loofah. But look how cute it is with the green and red, adorable. So yeah, if you're looking for some good sets and that also give back, Body Shop would be a great spot to go. All right guys, so that wraps up this PR haul and show and tell. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below your thoughts on any of these products. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.